Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five. Five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Tri-State area to make sure you've got everything you need to make your home look great and that it's working great and that you're protected in case there's a tropical storm or a hurricane from power outages, floods, and so on. So head on over to Omni, 631-756-1125 is the telephone number, the website, omnitruevalue.com. Well, September is actually known for producing some really lovely weather days, and I think we're about to get into a stretch of those, uh, a short one, uh, starting, well, it's actually kind of started today. We, yes, we do have some patchy clouds around, but drier air is slowly filtering down. If you look to the southeast, we have Hurricane Earl, which is nearing Bermuda. Uh, the center will pass to the east of Bermuda, but Bermuda will experience tropical storm force winds on the west side, already uh, seeing some of those winds beginning to arrive. Uh, but Earl is actually helping the cause here because it's pulling down drier air. We have a, a low... The old low from the other day with the cold front, well, that low is still out there east of the North Carolina coast. It's a very weak low-level circulation that's there. It's hard to see, but it is there. But that also is helping to pull down some dry air. And I think that's setting us up for some very nice weather here for uh, Friday and Saturday. And maybe even we could squeeze out Sunday with a little bit of luck. On the lower left, we have Hurricane K approaching the... uh, westernmost part of the Baja Peninsula here uh, and slowly beginning to weaken as it moves northward. But we think the odds of some heavy rains getting into Southern California are are going up uh, as the system moves uh, north, northwestward and weakens. That tropical moisture is going to be moving into Southern California. It doesn't happen too often that you see the remnants of a hurricane bringing uh, heavy rains Uh, into uh, into Southern California, particularly in the month of September, which is part of their dry season. So uh, the radar in the east, pretty quiet. Some light showers up in northern Maine. We've got some showers and downpours going on along the west coast of Florida for the most part. There's some uh, lighter showers further to the east, to the northeast and northeast Florida. Uh, Also seeing some showers moving through the Dakotas and Montana. And uh, we are actually seeing some uh, uh, rain radar echoes uh, showing up in uh, parts of uh, Southern California with even some heavier storms. So this is tropical moisture that is being pulled up well ahead of uh, Hurricane uh, K. Uh, nothing really too uh, much to worry about from the standpoint of the Storm Prediction Center. Small areas of marginal risk in Florida and Southeast Texas in Wyoming and also in the Western Lakes for today. Uh, Severe weather tomorrow, marginal risk in South Georgia and in northern Florida for tomorrow. And for Saturday, it's just general thunderstorm risk. And, of course, through all of this, the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic states uh, doing uh, pretty good here. Uh, Some flash flood risk in the Southeast today. Uh, But uh, for tomorrow, we actually have a moderate risk of flash flooding in parts of Southern California and southwestern Arizona with marginal risk going up north of Los Angeles. Also want to point out, don't want to forget too, for the southeastern part of the U.S., with a southerly flow opening up from the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to see some heavier rains move into uh, the uh, southeast part of the U.S. during tomorrow and into Saturday. And in fact, uh, when we look at the rainfall forecast amounts here, uh, you could see it's pretty much on the order of uh, an inch on the western flank. Uh, but you've got areas of two, three, four inches in Uh, Parts of southeast Georgia, South Carolina, western North Carolina, and even in coastal, uh, the coastal Carolinas, and also along the coast of Florida. And you'll see the rains up into southern California with two inch plus rains. Now, that may not necessarily sound like a lot, but uh, it's quite possible that we could see some higher amounts. But uh, you got to remember, this is desert country, so sometimes a quarter of an inch is enough to produce some flash flooding. And we've got one inch plus rains pushing well north of Los Angeles, almost halfway up up the state. So a pretty rare event uh, for that part of the country. Here, we're good. We're going to see highs uh, this afternoon with, let's call it, no worse than partly sunny skies in the mid to upper 70s. 
uh, tomorrow, Friday, a beautiful sunny day with that high between Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Earl is further offshore. You can see the rains coming up uh, from the Gulf states into the southeast. The high holds on for Saturday. So highs tomorrow will probably be generally upper 70s to around or just over 80. I think we'll be upper 70s and low 80s on Saturday with a fair amount of sunshine. Rain running up to our west in western Pennsylvania and Ohio and down through West Virginia and the western Carolinas. Uh, this is for Saturday evening. I think the GFS is kind of rushing it a bit with respect to the rain for Sunday. We saw that happen in that event for earlier this week uh, where uh, it took forever for the rains to get to the coast. I think that's going to be the case this time around. So uh, it may be a bit overdone here in the Hudson Valley and in parts of central Pennsylvania. We could see that be, uh, take a little longer to get here. So uh, I'm thinking maybe Sunday night, and on Monday, this is 1, 2 a.m. Monday, where we've got rain moving in uh, with a warm front that's going by. And then I think we're going to probably have to deal with some showery rains uh, during uh, Tuesday and possibly even into Wednesday. It doesn't rain all the time, but there will be some scattered showers around uh, for Tuesday into Wednesday until this weather system can finally uh, move on out. We should also point out with, with Earl out here, if you're headed for the shore, particularly tomorrow and Saturday, there's likely to be rough seas and rip currents. Uh, still beach weather uh, out there. Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. The uh, latest on Earl and the 11 a.m. advisory is at 29 North 65 West, which is uh, not too far off, probably at 150 miles south of Bermuda. Top winds 105 miles an hour and moving to the northeast. The center should pass about 90, 90 to 120 miles east of Bermuda. Uh, then we have Hurricane K. Uh, which is at 25.8, 113.8 west, with top winds 85 miles an hour, moving north-northwest at 15. Actually have tropical storm warnings up all the way to the California-Mexico border. That's about as far north as I've ever seen tropical storm warnings uh, uh, be put up uh, by the Hurricane Center. The hurricane's going to make landfall at that part of the Baja Peninsula where it jets out, and that is going to occur uh, probably sometime this evening or tonight, and then uh, starts to weaken as a tropical storm as it continues to straddle up the coast. And then it's supposed to make that left turn, which is really important. Uh, it will continue to weaken as it does so, but it's really more about the moisture that moves up uh, in, into uh, into Southern California. Okay, we're going to talk more about this on the Joe and Joe Weather Show uh, tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time, along with the latest on Earl and the latest on our upcoming weekend. So we hope to see you then.